Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, and today I'm just going to give you a quick guide how to recognize if a bag is fake or real. Uh, I often get asked to verify if a Louis Vuitton uh, bag is fake or if it's real. And most of the times they are so bad that they are only made to fool the viewer and not the buyer. But some bags are made to fool the buyer, so they are better. So I'm just going to show you uh, some really easy things to see because uh, the person that bought this bought it as, as a real a real bag, so they got screwed. Uh, if you don't have something to compare with, like I'm, I have worn this bag a lot so as soon as I got it in my hands I realized that it was not real uh, I felt it on a leather uh, the handles are way way too stiff and the weight is off as well uh, but in general if you find anything that looks cheap uh, that looks not perfect then it's fake so with this bag let me show you the first giveaway is that Louis Vuitton never used this fake gold things that you often see on fake bags. And as you can see here, everything is super tight, nothing that jiggles, and you don't see the spring. And it works perfectly. With this one, you don't have the same feeling. You can see the spring. And you see how bad the quality is. Uh, this fake gold thing. And it's not supposed to do like that. The second thing is the color of the leather. Uh, you know what a brand new bag looks like. And with aging, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get an, an old bag. So this one is colored of usage. I have done a lot with this bag. I worn it out in the rain. There are oil stains on it, etc. etc. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's used old. So this is from sunlight and yeah, this is just old. I think the light is too bright. So often when they make a fake bag, uh, in one case, they only have the the new look, the very, very pale look. The other case, they have this fake patina. And patina will never be this uh, even all over. You see, this has the same color all over. That is impossible. Absolutely impossible. And it's just the same with the rest. Uh, the real thing has brass. This is, uh, yeah, something fake. But once again, if you don't know, if you don't have the knowledge and, uh, and experience, you could get fooled. Uh, most people just think that if you have the date stamp, let me just. So many people think that as long as you have the date stamp, then it's real. But that is so far from the truth. If you can replica a bag, of course you can replica the stamp as well. So this stamp says that this bag is uh, from 2001 and made in French, in, in France. That, that's another thing. You feel it with the zipper. The, the zipper should never struggle like that. Another dead giveaway was the rubber on the shoulder strap. This feels way too cheap and you see the red color is, that is a dead giveaway. The real one looks like this. Uh, much stiffer and more durable uh, rubber. And once again with the uh, fake patina, you have the same color all over. This bag is 
probably 20 years old and you see how uneven it is with stains and, and I'm guessing that I should remove this yeah you can see so when they have perfect super even uh, patina that is absolutely fake and once again jiggle buckle fake gold and one other thing that I noticed now is that you see how the leather uh, leather strap is way smaller on the fake one than on the real one but once again if you don't have a real one to compare with you could get fooled and back with the old one these are all three uh, the 55 size uh, my bags are filled with paper that's why they look like that and i have a base plate in this one but uh, real fake real <laughs>